Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm be showing you guys how you can make a thumbnail just like this in Photopea. It's an Among Us thumbnail, and it's super easy to make, and I'll have everything down in the description below, like the project link, the photos used in this tutorial. So check there if you need something. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to a new project, go to the width and the height and type in 1280 by 720. That is the YouTube thumbnail size. Name it whatever you want. So I'll just do among us and hit create. Now what you want to do is find a background for your thumbnail. So I already have one. I'm just going to copy and paste it. It'll be down in the description below if you want it. And I'm going to hit control alt T to resize it. I'm just going to bring that all the way to the bottom right. Now the quality isn't the best, but that's okay. Just go up to filter, blur, radial blur, change the mode to zoom and the amount, change the amount to about five or six, hit okay. Now I'm gonna bring in a character. So I already have one down in the description as well. If you need that, copy and paste it. And I'm gonna hit control alt T to resize this. I want it to be pretty big. Hit that check mark to confirm it. Now I'm going to type in some text. So I'm going to type in among. Hit control A to select all the text. Change the size to about 200. Change the font to luckiest guy. This is built in photo piece. You don't have to download this font. Change the text color to white so we can see it. And hit that check mark. Now we're just going to move this over here. Hit control J to duplicate it and we're going to type in us like that. We're going to make this one a little bit bigger though. So we're going to type in 250. Let's try it a little bit bigger. So we'll try 270. That works. We're going to use this. Move our guy a little bit to the left. Now we're going to mess with the text. So go ahead and double click on among right here on the right side. Go to gradient overlay. Change the scale all the way to 10. Go into this little color box right here and change it from a darker gray about here to a white and move this box really close to the other one. So it looks like that. Hit OK. Go to stroke. We're just going to add a simple black stroke to it. Turn the thickness up to about 17. Looks pretty good. Hit OK. We're going to do something pretty similar with the us. We're going to change the color on this one. So we go to gradient overlay. So you can see here added the gradient from this one. Move it down a bit. Now double click on your among text and it'll select all of it. Go to warp. Change the style to arc upper. Turn the vertical distortion to about 9%. Leave the bend. And we're going to do the same for us. So click on us, go to warp, change the style to arc upper as well. Vertical distortion. Um, I guess we can do like 10. The bend, we can turn that down a bit to zero. Hit that check mark like that. Now we can rearrange everything if we need to. But so far it's looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do is go down here to the bottom right and click on new layer. Go over to your rectangle tool and just draw a big rectangle. Go to the blend mode on it and change it to color. And the top left you can change it to whatever color you want. So we can make it green, blue, purple. Red looks pretty good though. Whatever you want to do you can do it pretty easily. I like red a lot, so I'm going to go with red, but we're going to move this below the character and we're going to move the text below the red like that. So we're going to manually change the color of the character so it'll look better. So click on your character, go up to image, go to adjustments, click on hue and saturation. There's going to be a few sliders here. So what we're going to do is we are going to click on the blue or whatever part and it will change the color of it. So we're going to change it to like a red if we can. So right here. 
And let's turn this little visor thing to white by just messing with these sliders like that. So it looks pretty good. Move this a little more to the right. It's a little too big, so let me resize him. I want the text to be pretty big as well, so let me shrink him a little bit. Move it to the left. Okay, now after I uh, finish arranging this, we're gonna move it here. And if you keep trying to move the text, but it keeps grabbing this background layer, just click on the text layer and hit Control Alt T and you can just select that text. We're gonna move the text above that red layer so we can uh, manually change the color on this. So we're gonna change it to a red. So let me go to red for the top one, red for this one. I wanna make this a little bit darker like that. So manually changing it works a lot better. So we can keep that gray color and it won't change the color of it. And you can also do the same for the red. Now what we're gonna do is add a border around this. So go to your rectangle tool, go to the top where it says fill and change that to transparent. For the stroke, we're gonna change it to the red and then change it to white. And we're gonna change the size to about 34. So go to the top left of your canvas, left click and drag it all the way down to the bottom right. And it will draw a little border. Now all you gotta do is just change the border blend mode to overlay. There you go. It's looking super good, but we're gonna move that border all the way down to the bottom for the best results. We can just delete the background layer. We don't need that anymore. And the last thing you can do to change the color of this is go down to the tap circle, go to hue and saturation, move it to the very top, and you can just adjust the hue slider and you can change it to whatever color you want. So super customizable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.